E adesso andate e morite ricordando queste parole ragazzi. Nessuno vi darà pensione o stipendio da morti, ricordatevelo. Siete dei veri patrioti, dei veri eroi. Vi ricorderemo come avete vissuto. Centellinando ogni possibilità. Bravo Kif, mira. Mira da questa finestrella rocciosa. Immaginate che è tipo l'unico stronzo che è morto all'ufficiale Tutta sta storia Mi avranno Aereo in arrivo Dovete bombardare quella posizione Qui ci serve il supporto dell'artiglieria al lavoro ragazzi, su Non vi pago con un cazzo Inchiodateli su quella Muoversi. posizione, ragazzi! È arrivato il mio cane, ragazzi. Direttamente dalla cucina. Ah. E eh, porca troia. togliergli questa merda di avamposto se no avanzare diventerà una seccante why the fuck we are here bravo Robespierre raga io mi chiedo, per quale motivo mi sto ammazzando la vita io che sono l'ufficiale e voi che siete i fanti non vi muovete? Welcome Duke! Unfortunately we are in a shitty situation. My men are idiots. Idiots with no hope. fatto fuori le mitragliatrici almeno yeah i know i i there's this bug that you uh, that i notice 
in this game. They add more uh, units on the class, and when you respawn, they they simply tell you "fuck off," take another uh, yeah, another class. I don't understand why they do this. Makes no sense. But recently, nothing makes sense. Are you talking me? Are you talking? Uh, you pick up this argument because of the recent uh, shitstorm on Xbox front. Come boys! Coprimi pezzo di merda! You know, I always talk about Xbox uh, the same way that I'm talking uh, Xbox uh, back in the day. There is uh, Xbox uh, at the start had a, a great potential, but for some reason uh, they don't have the um, consistency. They try. They always try to do the the step too long, and uh, they want they want it to be the first uh, gaming reality of the of the of that specific era. But then they have to be irrelevant back in the day. Then the came uh, yeah became began the era of Spencer, the Redemption arc. But even then, what they really achieved? Because if you, if we think about uh, Xbox, they spend uh, right now they spend a lot of money to be in third position in terms of console board and this bullshit. They forgot the important things about gaming, and these errors are uh, the same error they made. Uh, the Xbox One era and uh, they keep making the same mistake the same fucking mistake over and over and over and there is uh, you need great great video game fun beautiful great video game if you make a great video game you're a winner if you focus in on other bullshit you're just a loser. Don't, don't get me wrong, even Sony make a mistake uh, when they start to think a shitty video game. Like Call of Duty for example.
Yeah, but if you think about it, Hellblade 2 is a, sh a little game. Six hour. It's not a great video game. It's a they had a great graphic. Yeah. But it's, that's necessary translating in uh, it's a great game. Think about uh, Hi-Fi Rush. Hi-Fi Rush was uh, really uh, praised by the public. Very, very good uh, acclamation of a game. And then what happened? It was launched on, uh, it was launched on, uh, on Game Pass. Nobody buy that game. So the, the game didn't make it much, or didn't make much money for the company. And then Tango game was shut down. You see what I mean? You need great video game. You don't need great service. You don't need great console. You don't need to uh, to have the most powerful console on uh, on the market. Look uh, at Nintendo. The weakest device on the market. Still great successful. Why? Because they had great game. And they still have great game for the audience. This is what Microsoft doesn't understand. You can buy whatever you want. You can uh, promote uh, whatever the fuck you want as a service. Etc. But if you don't make great video game, it's all uh, for nothing. So to me the great problem is uh, the fear of failure, the fear of uh, we must uh, we must uh, make money to repay the cost of the production is holding back the developers to be creative, and that's a really and that's a, a choke point, a really bad choke point. Because uh, you're shooting yourself on the foot. Microsoft have the potential to to give strength to and and more security to, to gaming studios because hey, it's Microsoft. They cannot uh, run out of money. They have a lot of money, so it's uh, nearly impossible that they failed. But they are not doing that. They are buying uh, publishers. Spend a lot of money in what uh, is already more or less functional. But are they able to to administrate all of that uh, studios that they acquired? I don't know. And keep in mind, Bethesda when was acquired uh, was a company with great problems. Activision when acquired, despite all of the money they make still is a company with a lot of problems internally management harassment etc so they, they don't buy the they don't buy i don't know larian studios a great studios that uh, is on the peak of success they buy great ip that were made by studios in great uh, in, a, in, a, in a non great shape Starfield sold a lot, but it's garbage. It's not the next Skyrim. Probably never would, never be the the next Skyrim. All of this is a problem that Xbox need to solve. From the worse or for the better, I don't think they so dramatic like they depicted. Xbox will not fail. They're too rich to fail. But uh, the trust, well, the trust is something that uh, it's hard to gain once you lost it. That's the main problem. Yeah, and how many years do you think they need to make uh, the next Fallout uh, or the next uh, Elder Scrolls? Oh, cool. How many years? I don't know. Yeah, 
Hey, do you think they can stay in this uh, uh, in this uh, state, like in this uh, nearly dead state with no great game? Also, they need to solve the problem on the engine because uh, you, I always say that uh, the creative engine is on, uh, too old to begin with. It's nearly a useless, uh, nearly a useless uh, engine. They don't solve all of this problem well. Good luck with that. I repeat, I don't think that uh, the Xbox as a branding will die. The problem is uh, they doing harm to themselves because they don't know what to do first. Are they doing all out with the uh, Game Pass? So the service? The service? Are they trying to do the next uh, gaming console? Well, you can do. You cannot do both because, as you can see. The services as damaging the the hardware. For the for the worse or for the better, the two things cannot coexist without damaging each other. If you don't sold the the, the the Xbox, well, you need to rely on the services because the the, the installation base is too few. Too low, or you need to sell your product to, to other con to other consoles. And in that case, uh, if you sell to other console, why you need an Xbox if uh, you can have uh, a PS5 uh, and play both of the games, uh, Xbox and, and Sony games, uh, on the same fucking console? You see the arms they do that to themselves. That's the problem that I have Microsoft. They wanted to do everything, but they are not good at doing everything. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> exactly because. Uh, you know, he said there's something that I don't uh, really don't understand. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of Microsoft in general. Um, I don't understand the trust that people uh, are putting on Xbox. Mainly because uh, they 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 show to the many times that they are not capable to. To do this kind of business, gaming business, they basically aren't able to do that. Maybe it's because uh, they they have a different uh, philosophy. I don't know, or maybe it's because uh, they don't know really what to do. So they try they try to improvise sometimes. But uh, if there is something that I really don't understand is the the hardcore base of Xbox. You know, they show many times that uh, Xbox is not uh, is not capable of uh, manage all of the all of this problem for the most part. So why they start with this 
great uh, enthusiasm every every generation. For example, no, okay. Uh, I you know me. I don't. I'm not a big fan of uh, DLC, but uh, good for the people who want the Avanti uh, Savoy. So I was saying. Uh, when uh, Xbox uh, X, Series X was announced, the first thing uh, that got my mind was uh, something uh, is not is not uh, working because uh, I think about it and I say, uh, are they really launch uh, their console, their main console? without uh, an Halo, an Halo game at uh, day one and I understood one thing they tried to uh, to rush uh, Sony they knew if they launch uh, Xbox at the, at the same time at the same pace of, uh, of PS5 uh, they were gonna lose uh, the generation so the idea was this let's try to launch uh, uh, the new Xbox before PS5. This causes a lot of problem, of course, because uh, Sony had to rush the launch of PS5. That's the main reason I think that uh, the start of the PS5 generation wasn't that great because they need to hurry up. In fact, many features on the console were weren't uh, there, there from the start. They were uh, they were being added uh, in, uh, after a period of uh, testing, and uh, they didn't have uh, ready many first-party game. I'm talking about Sony, but on the other side, Xbox uh, should have launched with Halo Infinite from the start. They didn't do that because Halo wasn't ready. And Halo wasn't ready because they rushed uh, the the launch of the console. That's the reason. So if you think about this, you understand why I'm telling you that they are not capable of taking the right step. Because if it wasn't for me, if Halo wasn't ready from the start, I I would not launch the the console. The, with my main flag, Halo, absent from the um, from the launch. I mean, it's like uh, I don't know, a PS5 launch without any exclusive. Well, Sony launched only two exclusive at the, the start of PS5, and uh, was uh, fully criticized because they're only. There were only two. Imagine what happened uh, if Sony had launched the PS5 with, with literally zero exclusive. Ok Attimi, mi concentro un attimo sul match perché Conversare e giocare sono una combo di merda <ride> Quando ci sono partite di questo tipo yeah. But even with the, the advantage of the PS3 Like you said They eventually in the long run get the, outsold by the PS3 as uh, Monsoon once said that's a pretty meme
che vi impedirà a questi bastardi di ricostruirsi l'avamposto. Avanzate ragazzi! caldo raga Absolutely no, Duke. I don't have time for, for, for following all of the shit. When you get old, Duke, the time may start to be precious. And the more you get old, the less time you have to do and uh, to observe the absurdity of the internet. this bitch Cazzo Bro, you are not solid snake <laughs> One snake and one boss. Sospendete, ragazzi! Ricognizione aerea in arrivo! Dovete bombardare quella posizione! Dovete bombardare quella posizione!
we are the Panzer Elite, born to compete, never retreat. Minchia. Eh, porca puttana. Raiden Blinsky. Well, when Snake presented himself as a Blinsky, I didn't realize immediately that it was a reference to Escape from New York. Can you imagine the fact that uh, Snake, uh, PS1 Snake, uh, would have been uh, voiced by Russell Crowe? But he refused the part. I almost happy about that because. Uh, as much as I like uh, his movie, uh, as, a pro, as a as an actor and as a movie maker, uh, I prefer the Solid Snake model and uh, the voice actor David Ader. Such an iconic voice line, uh, voice actor. Raga va detto, i giocatori della squadra avversaria sono veramente bravi. Stanno difendendo con l'unghio e con i denti. All'attacco! Che cazzo muoviti? Bastardi! Usa il gas! Tenetela! Uff! Gli avamposti dobbiamo rischiare tutto per tutto, ragazzi. Abbiamo perso tutto quanto all'attacco. Yes, abbiamo perso le retrovie. Ma abbiamo conquistato la vetta. La città di ghiaccio è nostra. Possiamo aver vinto questa battaglia, ma non la guerra. 